In this day and age of non-destructive editing, if you're not doing what I'm about to tell you in this video, you're missing out big time in your whole editing and retouching process. Hey there, this is Zunmesh and today I have an awesome tip about Lightroom to Photoshop workflow that will make your life so much more easier and faster and flexible at the same time. So without any further ado, let's stop beating about the bush and get started, shall we? So here we are in Lightroom and as you can see this is one of the photos completely retouched from my street photography assignment and have a look it's completely retouched. The tones, the presence, the black and white mix, the sharpness, I've touched upon almost everything. I've made it black and white and even I have added some adjustment brushes. Now watch. If you want to move from Lightroom to Photoshop, if you want to move over the same image to Photoshop, what do you usually do? You usually right click on the image, go to edit in, Adobe Photoshop, right? So instead of doing that, this time do this, right click, edit in and click on open as smart object in Photoshop or what you can do, you can go to photos. Edit in, open as smart object in Photoshop. It's the same thing. Two processes, same thing. Two ways. All right. Open as smart object in Photoshop. Now watch what happens. Watch for the miracle. All right. Now it, it's loading in Photoshop. And as you can see, it has loaded the image as a smart object, but that's not what is interesting. What's interesting is have a look. This is a smart object, right? You can do anything you want. You can do manipulations, you can do retouching, you can change the colors, you can have a lot of adjustment layers above it. But watch, if I double click on the smart object, watch what happens. You will be blown away, I guarantee you that. It loads up the camera raw with all the settings we had set in a Lightroom. Everything intact. Watch, we had the same settings in Lightroom. The tone curve, Watch the tone curve. I'll show you. It's similar to what was there in Lightroom. It's all the same. The tone curve, the basic panel. Watch. Watch the basic panel. Watch. It's all the same. And you will be surprised that if I click on adjustment brushes, it shows me the same adjustment brush as we had created in Lightroom. Watch. Same adjustment brush. Isn't this amazing? This way, when you do photo manipulations or when you have to add a lot of layers above it and you want to edit it, you don't have to go to filter camera raw every single time. You have it. All the raw settings are there. All the information from your camera is there. The white balance information, the, you know, the lens information, everything is there inside of this image. Isn't that interesting? Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If this video helped you, make sure to give us a thumbs up and also you have to subscribe. Don't just subscribe. Click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.